Wow, stocks and Bitcoin are about to make a big move here. Well, did you see that Bitcoin is now once again above 70K? It's near its all time high now, right? Which was 73K. Stocks as well, NASDAQ is also near a new high, right? So what is prompting this and what's making this big move happen? The short answer is that the US dollar is likely, looking likely it's breaking down. See this massive channel it's been traveling in, right? for the last year or so, bounced off 100 area, and now hit about 106, and finally looks like right here, in the last two or three days, looks like it's breaking down. But how does that help stocks and Bitcoin and all cryptos to rally? Well, if you've been watching my channel, then you know that I've been saying that the US dollar is basically a barometer of how risk averse the market is. So for example, if the market is afraid and they're very risk averse right now, then they will get into US dollars, right? As a safe haven, safe haven asset. And they will get out of risky assets such as a NASDAQ, right? Tech stocks or Bitcoin and crypto. But right now, the opposite is happening. Right now, the market is basically getting out of getting out of US dollars, right? That's why US dollars is going down. And they're getting into um, Bitcoin. That's why Bitcoin's near an all-time high. That's why tech stocks are kind of near an all-time high as well. But what's prompting this US dollar move and what's making this US dollar drop? The most immediate reason is that the market has been expecting and predicting that the Federal Reserve is going to cut interest rates for a long time now. And the Federal Reserve has been holding and holding and holding until this week we saw the manufacturing PMI, which is a very important gauge of US economic strength, has gone down in a shock, right? Basically, people were expecting it to be like close to 50, but it went to like 48, right? Which means the US manufacturing is contracting. And when that is happening, that means the US economy is weak, and that means the Fed must cut rates sometime soon, or they will risk a economic crash in the United States. So when the Fed cuts rates, obviously lots of liquidity comes back to the market, then both tech stocks and both Bitcoin should pump. And as I have been predicting, right, since the last three, four weeks, that Bitcoin is going to bounce off support in the high 50s area and has indeed done that, right? And now it's nearly at new all-time highs again, around 72K. So what happens next from here? What I will keep my eye on is that this BNB Binance chain, right, has finally made a new all-time high as well. So there could be some big moves coming on the Binance chain or BSC chain. The largest DEX on the BSC chain is Cake or Pancake, Pancake Swap, right? That's their token. And look at this, it's still down like something like 94, 95%. So I am expecting the BSC ecosystem with Cake or Pancake to pump in the next few weeks or month and other coins as well, right? Which ones? Follow Pablo for 